he would walk down the street to the store. <coughs> I hope my children have a lot of good, pleasant memories. Oh yeah, a lot of good memories. You know, I went to Washington whenever Paul was born. I never knew that. 1956. And back then. I must have flown. I have to get my breath. Um, because Jimmy met me at the airport and we went in to get something to eat. And I remember at that time I was smoking. And I said to Jimmy, is it all right with you if I smoke? <laughs> he said, after all, I'm just a, your brother. Just do what you want to <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my gosh. And, I mean, he was so much younger than you were, but you... Yeah, 12 years. <laughs> How nice for you to go up there when Paul was born. <laughs> See, what was the name of the little place they were living in? Was it Land Hills or Hyattsville? Hyatt. Hyattsville. Hyatt. Okay. Because, yeah, Paul and I were born when they lived in Hyattsville. Yeah. So you didn't come back three years later. <laughs> <laughs> didn't matter, my job. <laughs> it didn't matter when the next kid was born. <laughs> no, I mean... Apparently, right after I was born, they is when they moved moved to Jacksonville. Not too long yeah. later. When did you give up smoking? That's funny. They asked me that. The doctor's office. A long time ago. I remember. I used to play bridge at night, and I always had to smoke while I played. And I came home one night, and I said several times, I'd say, I'm not going to smoke anymore, because I'd have to smoke it, you know. But this one time I came home after playing bridge, and I said, this is it. And I never have to. Wow. And they, well, I'd, I'd, I'd have a spoken hangover the next day. Wow. Girl, I can't see what I'm doing. And it was years and years and years later when they realized how bad it was for everybody. Yeah. I mean, yeah. then everybody had a cigarette in their hand. Um, let's see. I've been to many doctors this week. So let's see, so I could get the oxygen. And they were asking me, I don't know, somebody from Habitat came out. And uh, she asked me if I had ever smoked. Yeah, a long time ago. It was interesting watching this week the 50th anniversary of the Kennedy assassination. Yeah. And all of the reporters and police folks who had cigarette in their hand the whole time they were talking. Oh, really? That's one thing that I noticed. I so did you go through?